What's up everybody? Welcome to John's Daily Hustle. So today I'm going to bring my nephew with me and today we are going to go do a big brush removal, like tree limb storm cleanup, whatever you want to call it. There's a bunch of tree limbs and branches and stuff at a couple of my properties and we're going to clean them up. But first I've got to stop at a store because I need to get me a chainsaw. So here it is. I bought the Steel MS-170 at my local steel dealer, which is actually the same dealer I bought my X Mark at. But anyways, I got this. It's just a 170. It's a 16 inch bar. I didn't need anything bigger than that because I don't really use a chainsaw a whole lot. Uh, so we're just going to use it. You guys will see me. I'll cut some stuff up to make it fit in the bed of my truck and trailer. For the price of it, you know, I bought that brand new with whatever the steel warranty is, the five year warranty after you buy the oil or something like that, five years, four years, something. It's a pretty good warranty. I don't remember exactly what it was, but I got that at a price at what most guys were selling that weed, that uh, chainsaw used on Facebook Marketplace. I couldn't believe it. So I had to jump on it. And for as much as I really need a chainsaw, this one's perfect for me. Yeah, it's a little un underpowered when you get into the bigger stuff and the bar might not be long enough for some of you guys. But again, like I said, just a guy that mainly cuts grass, this is perfect for me. So again, I'm going to go pick up my nephew and then let's jump to the first property. As you can see, I got all that cut up. The little chainsaw, MS-170, does pretty good, first use. So now, he's over here. We're throwing all the small stuff in that. We're gonna dump it in the bed of the truck. And then we'll move on to the next place. There we go, dumping all the small pieces in. I'm gonna get in there and knock them all over. And we're gonna try and save some room in here because we've got several other stops to make today. I'm trying to not have to use the trailer if we can for a while, at least until we get closer to our final destination. So this one's not too bad since I have to push mow this property. You guys may recognize it or not. I don't know if I already have the video uploaded. Oh yeah, it's a garter snake. Pretty sure it is. Little garter snake, he got scared. It might be, don't get too close to it. Put in the comments below if you know what that is. Just stand back for a minute. So anyways, I'm dealing with that, we have all this. And then there's a little bit scattered throughout that we have to clean up, but it's not too bad. You guys may remember this house. This is the house I did the gutter clean out on, both front and back. And like I said, this is the one I have to push mill in the back, unfortunately. Are you enjoying yourself? That's good. Alright, so as you guys can see, we got this one cleaned up, all that stuff over here, all that stuff. We're leaving this since it is a somewhat of a fire pit. By the way, the snake that was there, it was just a little garter snake, like I had said. So if you guys commented that below, you guys were right that it was a garter snake. This is the last place. We got some bigger ones here we'll have to cut. So let's get to it. Alright, so here's just a picture of the final load as we were strapping everything down on the trailer. And we're just going to throw that trash can on the back there. You can see in the back of the trailer we left a little spot because we're not going far around town. On the front of the trailer, you can actually see where we used the 2x4s from the previous job that we stopped and picked up. They're like 2x4 planks, I guess you can call it. And that's actually what we used for that to stop stuff from falling off. 
We were able to layer the sticks and branches and stuff on that trailer and strap it down with the straps. You can kind of see one of the orange straps underneath it as it squishes them all down and stacked more on top of it. I got it all loaded up. Now the fun part is unloading it. So we were able to haul all that away. We got most of it fit to fit in the bed of my truck and then all the big stuff there at the end, as you guys can see, I was able to fit on my trailer. We actually used ratchet straps to strap it down at a time. So after we got it filled up, you know, we put a bunch of stuff on the trailer. We put a ratchet strap across and it squished it down and we were able to put more on it. So it was actually layered and it was actually a lot more than you would think. I mean, standing on the trailer, the branches stood up over that back gate, which is four foot, I believe. Four foot, four and a half foot, something like that. And they stood over that. So those ratchet straps really squished it down a lot. Now, fortunately, the last stop was in a city where I have family that lives. And I was able to just haul that stuff just over across town to their house. And I dumped it there and we just burned it there. So I was able to not have to, one, I didn't have to drive far. And two, I was able to just burn the stuff and I didn't have to pay a, you know, a dump fee or something like that. But I was still able to charge my time for doing all that per customer. So it was a pretty nice job there. It was pretty nice little, little extra money. And like I said, I got a chainsaw out of it. So you guys know I love buying new equipment, even though I hate spending that money. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm hoping to do more of these types of like storm cleanups and branch cleanups and stuff throughout the winter time. Just something to keep me busy and that kind of thing. So it should be pretty good, pretty fun. It's good little money and it's change of pace. You know, I did that in the middle of just at the end of springtime, at the end of the mowing, of the at the end of the big spring grind anyways, I guess you can say. So it was a nice little change of pace. I was able to go from constantly mowing every day to kind of taking a break doing something different. So if you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.